Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm joining a fun blog hop. There is a new release, a scrapbooking collection by Altenew, and I'm going to show you all the products that have just been released, including uh, papers, stickers, embossing powders, and many, many more. Now you can get all these products separately, or you can get them in a bundle. You will, fi you will find links down below, as always, and on my blog. Now, since this is part of a blog hop, make sure to visit my blog to learn all about the giveaways because there are tons of of giveaways along the way. Now I'm going to show you first the papers. So these are the 12 by 12 papers. They are all double sided and you get two papers from each design so you don't have to fight with yourself on each, which side to use. And as I am browsing through the papers, you can see the beautiful designs. You get little totes, you get this wooden grain design, little triangles, you get these beautiful watercolors. And I just love this uh, look. This is one of my favorite papers and actually I'm going to use this on this video. And uh, you get these color washes, some florals, beautiful papers, and I want you to see how shiny they are. This is not the normal cardstock, it's not actually pattern paper, it's quite thick, it's 80 pounds, and it's great even for creating um, the card base if you want to turn them for uh, into card bases. Now, along with this pack, you can get, if you want, another pack that has the exact same designs as you can see. These are not double sided, but uh, they are the normal weight of uh, pattern paper. So this is, I believe, 65 or 70 pounds. And again, you get two of its design. Here is a frame which is really beautiful and has a lovely uh, embossed detail. You also get this uh, washi tape that has uh, that beautiful pink color that matches perfectly the rest of uh, the kit. You also get these uh, nine different colors of enamel dots. And these are journaling cards. Now these are the standard size, the 3x4, and uh, in beautiful uh, colors. I just love those uh, watercolor washes. And uh, you can use them for uh, your card making or even for um, journaling uh, in your scrapbooking and in those pockets that you can insert them. Now, there is uh, these uh, stickers, these are good veneer, but they are stickers and you can color them, you can spray on them, you can emboss them, do whatever you want with them. This is a little uh, stamp set with um, layering rows and um, lovely sentiments about family. And these are alphabet stickers in different colors. You get uh, plenty of its letters, so you can uh, use them a lot and create uh, lots of words. And these are the die cuts. You can just pop them out and use them on your paper. I just love them because uh, you can easily create a great uh, cluster to go on your projects and your cards. And these are stickers. So all you have to do is to just peel them off and stick them on top of your projects. And finally, these are heavy cardstock uh, words like home, grandma, grandpa, mother, father, son, wife, etc. All about family. And here is a quick look on all the embossing powders that have just been released. So you get these three colors that match perfectly the color scheme of the collection. And you also get copper, platinum and rose gold. Now today I'm going to do something different and instead of a card or an art journal I'm going to create a scrapbook layout. And this is the photo I'm going to use. This is a photo of us, this is my husband and my two kids in Copenhagen during the summer where we were on vacation. And I just love this photo because on the right this is where I was uh, sitting and eating my ice cream. We are all eating ice cream by the way here. And you can tell that I'm the one behind the camera. Now I'm going to combine this photo with this pattern paper just because it has that blue detail and it matches perfectly the sky and the sea. Now in my daughter's t-shirt there are pink flamingos that matches perfectly the color on the paper. And I think I'm going to combine it with uh, this pattern paper which is actually the other side as well as the black and white one. With my paper trimmer I'm going to trim a little bit from the sides and the idea is to make it narrower so when I place it on top of this uh, black and white pattern paper I will have a border on each side. Now I'm using this tool to distress the edges and as I'm doing that I just wanted to let you know that I do scrapbook a lot and I usually scrapbook about my, our travels, our family travels but um, I usually avoid posting photos of my kids online so 
today it's an exception and um, I hope you will like my project. Let me know in the comments below. I feel safe today because the photo I've chosen doesn't show any faces, so I think I'm okay with that. Now all I'm doing is placing one paper on top of the other, having this nice border. I'm going to also stick uh, the photo down and I'm using Alta New Tape Runner which is very forgiving. So you will see that I will be able to remove things and place them in different uh, areas. Now this is the stickers, these are the stickers and um, I didn't peel them off, I just popped them out so that I can play around and decide where I want everything to go. Once you are happy with the placement then you can peel everything and stick them down. By the way, these um, stickers are uh, quite forgiving as well. You will see later on that I will be able to lift a little bit and just stick something underneath. Now on this bottom corner of my photo, I'm going to create a little cluster using elements from the new collection. So I'm peeling off this sticker and this is a pink uh, camera which I'm going to stick down there. And from the chipboards, I'm going to bring in the word family. And this is actually sticker, so I'm going to peel off the backing and just stick it there. And you can see that it's in black, but it does have some uh, watercolor splashes on it, so it matches perfectly the background. Now, I do have a few more stickers, and uh, I'm going to show you that you don't really need to stick everything with the adhesive that it has. So in this case, I'm not going to... Um, uh, peel off the sticker, the backing. I'm just going to use the stickers as they are with the backing and this is going to help me add some dimension so this will be able to lift. And I'm just going to hold them down with that family sticker there, the chipboard. So you see they don't, they will not go anywhere. So this is the journaling I just printed with my computer and I have two lines there which I am going to stick down and I'm going to nest them just underneath the word family. Now this is in English, but of course I would normally write that in uh, Greek. Just because I'm sharing this on my YouTube channel, I went ahead and uh, did that in uh, English, but uh, I can always go back and uh, just print out those two strips in Greek and stick them on top of that. Now what that says is um, eating ice cream and enjoying the view. Now I have this strip of paper that I have cut out from the pattern paper with the stripes and I just decided that I wanted to place that underneath my photo just to ground it somehow. I am using some tape runner at the back and you will see that I will be able to lift the sticker easily and just uh, place that uh, strip of paper there. Now I'm working with this little die cut that says remember and um, I'm going to place it at the top corner of my card just to add uh, some interest there. Now as you can see I have uh, set one eyelet in pink with my crop dial and now I'm going to thread some uh, string. My string is white since I don't want to introduce any new color but I think it would uh, look beautiful if it was uh, pink as well. And this is where I'm going to place it. I'm going to add some uh, foam tape at the back to add a little bit of dimension. By the way, I just wanted to let you know that um, I don't normally place these layouts in uh, scrapbook albums. What I do is uh, usually place them in a frame and then decorate my craft room or our house. So this is exactly what I will do with this layout. And having said that, I usually get those uh, 12 by 12 big frames that are uh, shadow boxes, so you can go as dimensional as you like, and um, I think they give a beautiful look. Now, all I'm doing is uh, picking some uh, letters here uh, from the chipboard letters, and um, I'm going to write the word Copenhagen, since it's, this is where we were. And as you can see, I was going for a vertical layout in the beginning, but then I changed my mind and I'm going to write the word Copenhagen all across my page. To make sure that it's uh, quite straight, I'm using my T ruler. And you can see that the alphabet stick are actually stickers. These are stickers. So I'm peeling them off. First, I'm going to stick the first letter and the last letter so that I know how long my word is going to be. And then all I have to do is to just spread out the rest of the letters and then stick them down. 
Now you can call this layout done. I'm just going to do a few finishing touches. So I'm going to stamp the date with black ink. And that was uh, on 8th of August. I'm also going to use a few different colors of those enamel dots and scatter them across the page just to add some color and some interest in different areas. And finally I'm going to bring in the wood veneers from this collection and there are little bits and pieces in uh, this uh, as well so I will go with uh, a couple of uh, tiny little hearts as well as a little star. And my layout is finished. And that was the layout for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you want to see more layouts in the future. Don't forget to visit my blog and join the blog hub. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.